Good morning. All right. Uh, heading out to do a little bit of soda. We're going to go down and uh, pick up Dale down in Alpine. So let's get started. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. There we go. AA70Y. Caught Good deer like, like a deer caught in the headlights. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready to roll. So let's do this thing. We're going up to Whiskey 7 Alpha. Um, remember the, the peak, peak ID? GR. I think it's zero zero one three. No, that was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, GR zero one three. Okay, uh, Pipe Stem Mountain. So, yeah, it should be a fun adventure today. So let's get cracking. Mountain. We're at the quasi trailhead. On the way up here, we saw um, mainly we didn't see any elk, but we saw a whole bunch of deer. Mule deer, white tail. Yeah, turkey. Turkeys by the dozens. Yeah. yeah, it was amazing. I've never and some huge toms. Yeah. Um, gobbling. Yeah. Yeah, were. I've never been that close to toms that were just like really gobbling. There was like three or four of them there. Yeah, they, they were, were massive. Yeah. So just uh, we've got a whole bunch of shots. I'm gonna put them right on here. You can check check those out, and uh, then maybe I'll put a few in the credits as well. So a lot of we should have gotten the GoPro out and see if we could have got a shot of them. It's hard with the GoPro, but man, it was just a, a bonanza of animals coming up. So we're going to head straight into this stuff. Um, Dale AA70Y swears that this is going to be easy. So <laughs> if it's not, I'm going to give him hell. <laughs> Good luck. It looks like somebody's been pruning these. Trees, yeah. look at this. Yeah, well, that's good. With oh, a chainsaw. Yeah. Huh. Out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Who gets that job? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's get cracking here. Sorry, I took the squeak out of the out of the door. It was rubbing the insulation off the vehicle, so or off the cables. And we're gonna pick up some other people's trash. We'll throw that in the car. It's a bushwhack, but not, we're not having to climb through chaparral yet. Pretty rocky. Yeah. Sure. What do you think about going left? Follow that ridge? Yeah, I think you're right. It looks pretty steep to go straight. I think it's one of those, what the hell was I thinking when I charted this thing? No, you don't know what to see, I guess. I had been drinking when I charted it though. <laughs> don't do that, folks. Lesson number one, never chart when you're inebriated. All right. Yeah, I think we just follow that ridge, right? <clears throat> yeah, and I think that's one of the takeaways from these hikes is you can look at the topo charts and pick the best way, but sometimes when you get on the ground, you can spot a much better approach just because you're there, you know? Sometimes it's hard to visualize. That's my excuse. I think I'll cut out the inebriation part. <laughs> All right, let's go. Right. But I did chart the uh, ridge in the purple line there um, that you can see on the map here. So we're basically following that up. Uh, you'll see our path next to that charted area. But uh, yeah, I did miss charted after all. So there goes Dale, it's like a mountain goat. Ooh, it's tight. Yeah, you did a good job. Nice You're job. gonna have to low crawl. You got it, go ahead. There you go, you're yeah. through. Make this look graceful. <laughs> <laughs> He's got me! 
I didn't plan on grabbing your ass today. But... Almost, <laughs> almost grateful. <laughs> Graceful. Uh, yeah, and that's how the ham ninja does it. <laughs> Very ungraceful. In country because we're we're bridging kind of uh, excuse me pine trees and other things, and then you've got cactus here. So, and then you got pine right over here. There's that. Yeah. So probably mesquite up here. Pretty country when it's only 60 degrees. Mountain goat Dale here. He's uh, making a pretty good track. Maybe more over to your right, I don't know, or up around that rock. I think you're right. It's one thing they don't show on the charts of these big giant lava rocks you gotta go around. But uh, I think we'll get her done. This one's been activated before, so shouldn't be a problemo. I think the other thing to notice here is when you look at this chart, you'll notice the labeled peak is not the one you want to go to. That's not the high point. That's why in my planning, I always take the latitude and longitude from the soda maps or soda atlas, whatever the detail page is, and create a waypoint for the summit. That way you go to the right summit. Because if we had gone to the actual labeled peak, it would have been the wrong one. Uh-oh. Dale's waiting for me. I guess I better get cracking. I'm waiting for you. Let's get cracking. <laughs> Less yakking, more cracking. Okay. Less yakking, more cracking. Let's go. Here he is in the wild. Four wheel drive. The rare soda activator. Climbing the mountain like it's not even there. Look at that skill and grace. And some vegetation on the north side is it's an amazing difference. A little bit cooler, probably more, maybe more moisture, I don't know. Well, you can see the path we took in red. I think the trail's colored in purple, the charted path. So we pretty much did a direct attack here. Sure, it was steep, but it was very short, um, short range. So it's just basically like being on the stair stepper. So it's 8.30. We'll be on the air by before nine easy. So, yeah, let's get cracking. And a setup. I did a little bit differently um, <clears throat> than I've done before. It's the LNR and Fed still, but uh, I decided to pick where I'm going to choose first rather than where the mask goes. Because I really wanted to get some shade. It's going to get warm here. We're only at 6,000 feet. So, I'm going to get up into that, under those trees there. So, I dropped the uh, coax there and then strung out to see, you know, what the best tree would be to kind of lash onto. I don't want to go too far down this hill, but I think what I'll do is I'll set up here and hopefully this will all work out for me. Um, so I've got my cap here with the nail on it. We're going to drive this in, set the bottom of the post in there and then tie off onto this tree up here. No wind, so probably won't have any issues today. Famous last words. Let's get cracking. Put the nail in there so I've got a base. Now we gotta do is stick that in there and we're good to go. This may have been the longest setup. Got the KX2 out here. Um, finally got the antenna set up. I always forget how long this thing is. I haven't used it that many times. So goes up the, the coaxis. 174 comes down through the tree and then goes all the way back to that pole back there in the other tree on the other side of the summit. It's a smaller summit. Um, the cool thing about summits on the air, not only are the views and, and uh, beautiful country, but every setup's different, every single one. And sometimes you get your antenna up and it falls down and the winds are blowing and um, you know, you're operating on the side of a rock. Uh, so yeah, it's always, 
it's a it's a real adventure and that's kind of one of the appeals to it as well you just don't you never know what you're going to run into up here and uh today it's not going to be weather it's going to be beautiful it's going to be hot though so my core objective as i had mentioned earlier was to find the spot where i wanted to sit first and then string out the antenna from there first time i've ever done that and uh didn't quite go as planned but i think we're set up now after some re rework in the the operating uh, position i think we're good to go so got the chair set up ready is just about ready to go let's get on the air some of you have asked what the heck is this thing right here well it was a gift from uh, k6ark it's a magnetic uh phone holder kind of universal and you just put a uh, a metal plate on the back of whatever case you have in my case i put it on the oh that was a good one pun intended <laughs> Um, I put on the back of my uh, extra power case here, the Mophie, and uh, it's cool. It's magnetic. It just sits right there. So um, I drop it in the dirt a lot less often. I won't say I stopped dropping it in the dirt, but um, thanks, Adam. Check out his channel, K6ARK Portable Radio. Um, he's got a really cool channel out there, builds all kinds of uh, really cool antennas. He's built uh, uh, this one here for me. If I can find it. Um, super lightweight. This is the antenna to have. It quit working on me. Um, I should probably try it again, but I uh, had a problem with it on the summit, so I just switched the antennas. He's, he promised me he'd uh, basically make a new uh, Unin for me. But the, the magic right here is this Unin that's basically built right onto the connector. So really neat. Um, so he's got a video on, on these things, uh, all kinds of different antennas. Um, basically trapped end feds that are super lightweight for your MTR and other radios that don't have a tuner in them. It's perfect. So go check out his channel. Uh, some really cool creative stuff out there. All right. So I'm going to try to get on the air here. I've got my, um, I took a, uh, a, uh, MiFi unit from Verizon. Stuck it up in the tree there, so it's got uh, four, four G LTE going right into it. So I've got uh, Wi-Fi going here, and uh, maybe I'll do some chasing. Sounds like some guys are already up in the air. So um, we are up on GR13. So I'm going to set up my log here. I'm using OutD. So let's get cracking. URL and a question mark says you know anybody else using this frequency so thank you Verizon for getting my spot out just one out like just like that so There's Gary. Good morning. He sent me a 5-9. You're on it, buddy. Thanks, Gary. There's Martha. W0ERI. Give me a 5-9. Gives me a 5.9, there are my four contacts. Thanks, Charles. Thanks for being there, Moyen. T, U. That's amazing, a five contacts right there in, in four minutes. It's amazing. Great little view here into the forest. Uh, a little hazy today because of the um, smoke still. It's supposed to clear out by today, but changed its mind. So the neat thing about summits on the air is there's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, check out some other channels, K6ARK, um, K6RIP, and, uh, and November Julius 7 Victor. He has a great channel, um, Charlie down in, uh, he's from Mesa, Arizona. 
and uh, we've done some hiking with him in the past so he's got some great videos on different equipment um you've seen my setup let's go check out dale's here and uh see how he's doing hey there he is how'd it go over there good You're like 17 so far really a little slow, but yeah. killing it yeah i got uh five right away and then that was it nothing good. kind of quiet this morning on the air yeah but, uh, yeah um, I got one sideband. I thought, well, heck, I'll spot uh, sideband. I need to do that more. Yeah. So uh, I think they put me to six. Good. Yeah. So yeah, we're That's we're good. activated. Yeah. Nobody on the mountain yet, so. <laughs> no, I haven't seen any summit to summit that I could chase. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait. Bands. Well, there were some on forty. Did you see those ones on forty? No, I, I just seen some sideband forty. But, uh, oh, they're on sideband, so you couldn't so, you couldn't yeah. chase them. He's got. Yeah. That's a problem when you got an MTR, no sideband. <laughs> so. Nobody wants to listen to me talk anyway. <laughs> sure they do. <laughs> to uh, Dale's operating position, let's let's take a look at his antenna first. He's got a uh, 20, 30, 40 meter. Is this just 20, 40? 20, 30, 40. Okay. Yeah, and he's he's uh, basically a slink dipole, and you tune it up. Really easy to build. You just uh, cut for 20. Get it tuned up for that, then throw a link on it with more wire, um, then tune that for 40. If you don't have an antenna analyzer, uh, get one from somebody. So that's what he's got set up here. Um, it's a neat little, these radios are really cool. He's got a really cool setup. He's got, so he goes up to his dipole there. Hopefully you can see it right there. A little uh, BNC into that. Comes down with his RG7174 and uh, We'll take a look at his log. Oh, he's got a big log book here. He was killing it. And um, he's just got a little little knee board here. He's, he's got his keyer set up right here and uh, his MTR. So these uh, little mountain toppers are really cool little radios. Super lightweight. This is like, I don't know, a couple packs of cigarettes weight. He's got a tiny little battery down there. And that's it. And he can run... Uh, Three bands with that baby, and uh, he's he's racked up the contacts five watts. Easy peasy. Just got to know CW. Um, and I got to tell you, CW learning CW changed everything for me. I mean, I activated this mountain in less than five minutes once I was up. The antenna setup was a bit long today, but um, yes, yeah, CW just changes everything. But I got on the side band and got a got a one contact there. It's early in the morning. Doing a little surgery here on the key. The dangerous part is you don't want to throw up any screws. You'll really be messed up. I wonder if my key is like dirt in there or something. CQ, 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 CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie calling CQ, CQ, CQ for summits on the air, any station, anywhere. November 6, Alpha, November. Mm -hmm. November 6, uh, station, go again. November 6, Alpha, November, hang on a moment. This is a cool setup. Uh, November 6, Alpha, November. November 6, Alpha, November, I got you 5555, five, 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 over. Okay, thank you, Chris. Uh, you're 5 and 3, 5 and 3 here, uh, same summit, the Charlie Tango, two, two, three, two, two, five. Yeah, Roger, Roger, David. Uh, how's it going up there, man? Yeah, it's a little warm because there's no shade, but uh, doing okay. All right, man. We'll have a good activation. Good talking to you, man. Yeah, likewise. Hopefully, it's less smoky out there than it is here. Yeah, it's a lot less smoky. Uh, we got some. You can see it like a haze. It looks like a marine layer here, but um, yeah, pretty nice. And uh, well, don't don't breathe too heavily. Yeah, well, the wind shifted, so most of it's getting blown east now, or, or north, which is good. 73, Chris, have fun. Uh, N1CLC from N6AM. Cheers. All right, David. Cheers, man. 73, man. N1CLC. Summit's on the air. Yeah, that's cool. All right. November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie here. Ham Ninja with AA70Y Dale. Yeah, we uh, had a great time up here. I got something like what a 21 or 20 and four summit to summits and uh, just 
sitting in the shade, plinking away at some of the summits. Just had a great time. Yep, 34 contacts and two summit to summits. I spent a lot of time changing my link dipole and missing guys, but uh, yeah, it was a good day. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, it's just, and the weather still is, I mean, we're in the shade. It can't be more than 72, 73 here. Yeah, beautiful day. A little yeah. bit of smoke, but not too bad. Yeah. And we can't smell it. We just have kind of a little bit of haze in the air. So uh, we're lucky. Some of those Californians, they go out on hike and it's like smoking four packs of cigarettes. So <laughs> I, I feel lucky here. Okay. So, all right, we're going to head down the mountain, see if we can keep them crashing. That's mainly for me because Dale's, Dale's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get her done. Okay, Charlie, this is for you. Soda crawl. Funky chicken. Funky chicken, the soda crawl. The fence maneuver. Okay, Chris. Make it look graceful. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> That's why they call me the ham ninja. <laughs> All right, we made it back to the car in one piece. Um, I didn't get us killed coming down, so. Yeah, it's good. A little warm, a little toasty now. It's probably up to 78, 80. Down here, or maybe not. Sweat. Feels good. Yeah, it's felt awesome. Yeah, it's what? It was a half mile or something. It's okay. a half mile to the top. So, yeah, anybody can do that one. Um, got into some pretty slippery scree, so just be careful up there. I personally think it helps to have some sticks. So, I'm trying to convince Dale here, but you know he's got those mountain goat Hold hooves, on. and just <laughs> he just goes straight up, no problem. All right. Thanks guys, and 73. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to, uh, if you want to learn more about this hobby and you want to learn how to do it, why to do it, how I do my planning, um, a little bit of talk on reducing the risk out here, and uh, a reference activation, which is kind of what we did today. We did an activation with uh, Sideband and CW. And then the last video is about how to upload your uh, logs and why you want to do that for Summits on the Air. So check that out. It's a Soda 360 video series, and you'll find it under hamninja.com slash Soda360. All right, so thanks a lot to the um, chasers out there. Really appreciate you guys and the other activators. You made it a lot of fun. I enjoy chasing uh, other summits as well. So 73 guys, have an awesome day. Let's roll the credits.